It was a long trip for the long-awaited opener to the 2017 season for the South Florida Bulls. All the way to San Jose, California. To take on the Spartans of San Jose State of the Mountain West Conference. And Bulls Nation travels well. A new season always brings excitement, but for South Florida, there was unprecedented anticipation for a team ranked 19th in the preseason polls with a highly respected and experienced new head coach in Charlie Strong. Finally, coach. Finally here. Game day, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it, kid. Yeah, kid. Let's get it, Augie. Let's go, boy. You got a, a coach with a huge name in Charlie Strong. They have a guy who's, you know, a dark horse, Quentin Flowers, to win the Heisman, at least become one of the best quarterbacks in the country this year. This is a huge statement season. It begins tonight. South Florida found they had a little rust to shake off in the first quarter on both offense and defense. Understandable with new coordinators on both sides of the ball. It took a while for things to settle down. With a field goal there, San Jose stayed up early 3-0. The Spartans were comfortable in their own backyard and emotionally charged to try to prove they could play with a nationally ranked team like the Bulls. San Jose State touchdown, there is a flag though. And in the first quarter, they did. The flag was against USF. The score stood, and things would get worse before they got better. Love flags out, caught, Gator! It's a touchdown! The stunning 16-0 deficit could have been worse, but Bruce Hector blocked the extra point. Coach Strong told his guys not to panic. Seeing it go into his hands and then stripping that ball away. Just that, Randy, and here's Love. Turns, hands off, and... It's going to be no first down. Yeah, that's exactly what this defense needed to do. Nothing spectacular up front. What they, one thing they didn't do, they didn't give up ground. Across midfield. Flowers, good fake call for a block. Doesn't get it, but he got away. Escape still on his feet. Quentin Flowers. Man open, finds him, diving for the pylon. They signal touchdown, USF. They were just getting started on a remarkable second quarter performance. Charlie Strong's defense was just that strong. From the shotgun this time, over the middle, the tight end, oh, the bobble, oh man, coming up with a ball. It's Sawtell, they're saying interception. Turnovers equals a turnaround. Interceptions were a huge contributing factor to the Bulls' record-setting season a year ago, and they were instrumental in the comeback at San Jose State as well. Nico Sawtell's pick became the second one by USF that would lead to a touchdown. Fourth down. Turns, hands off, touchdown! Dearness Johnson powers his way in. Bing, bang, boom. They open on, he's good. It's a two-point game now. And they're gonna get to him and I'll drop him. Love gonna take another shot. Hartley knocked away. Hampton intercepted. Hampton knocked it away. And in the waiting hands of Devin Abraham. Flowers taking a shot. Catch made. It's a lock up with a touchdown grab from Quentin Flowers. Everything that was misfiring in the first quarter was clicking in the second. And down, nearly taken back by Reeves. It would prove to be one of the most dominant quarters the Bulls have ever produced. A start on the ground, Dearness Johnson trying to work his way down the line, gets a block, gets outside. Johnson stays in bounds, dives. And no signal yet. They say touchdown on the play. The 28 second quarter points tied the school record for points in a quarter. The Bulls never looked in the rearview mirror. 
The California sunlight faded while South Florida lit up the scoreboard with 42 unanswered points, racking up 548 yards of total offense. A nice debut for new offensive coordinator Sterling Gilbert and all the staff headed up by Charlie Strong. Perhaps most impressive, the way they rebounded after a shaky first quarter. Nineteen wins in their last 23 games. That's Bulls strong.